Hello, my name is Jamie Irvin. I'm the host of the Heavy Duty Parts Report. You're watching a video series called How to Sell More Parts. This is video number seven. Go over to heavydutypartsreport.com, check out the video section. You can watch the other videos or go to our YouTube channel. And while you're there, why not subscribe so you don't miss any of our content? Today, we're going to talk about a common scenario where parts people and salespeople will fail to inform customers about the products that they have. Now, here's what happens from the salesperson's perspective or the parts person's perspective. There is a lot of parts that you stock, tens of thousands usually, and it's almost impossible to be an expert on all of them. So as a salesperson, I would pick certain categories of products and I would try to become an expert in the, that area. And that did mean I had weaknesses in other areas, but I was very good at asking the right questions and then going and getting the information for my customer. I have no problem with that at all. But all too often, customers would say, hey, I was into your store the other day and I saw you have product X. Why didn't you tell me you have that in stock? I've been buying that elsewhere and I'd much prefer to buy it from you. So selling more parts is often not just about communicating, uh, you know, value and, and finding out, you know, doing needs analysis and all of that. It's often just communicating with your customers about what you have. Because once they start doing business with you and they enjoy doing business with you, they're naturally going to want to do as much business with you as possible. So a couple things happen here. Sometimes it's the sales account manager's issue. They're just not diligent enough. And good salespeople are often low detail, right? They're not oriented towards high detail. They are a low detail person. They're very social. They're very good at communicating. But they don't pay attention to the details. So salespeople, you got to stay abreast of what products are coming online. But all too often, it wasn't an issue with sales at all. The salespeople didn't know. And sometimes even the branch managers didn't know that a new product had come online. There was a breakdown of communication from the distribution centers where procurement of, of product lines happens and the actual branches. Products would just show up in a stock order. And people in the warehouse would put them away, right? Add them to the shelf. They would uh, sometimes add them to the display. And this is just what happened. And sometimes the branch managers were, were the last to know. And the salespeople were you know, on that list as well as the last to know what was going on. So as a company, you know, if you want to sell more parts, you've got to communicate internally first and then externally effectively, letting people know what parts you have. It's such a simple thing, and yet it gets overlooked all the time. My name is Jamie Irvin. I'm the host of the Heavy Duty Parts Report. If you want to check us out, go over to heavydutypartsreport.com. You can watch all the videos in this series in the video section or on YouTube. And while you're there, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our great content. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. You can watch our next video and don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel.